In global media freedom rankings, Namibia is rated higher than the United Kingdom. UK ranks 35th, while Namibia lies at 23 out of 180 countries. In Africa, Namibia is ranked number one, and the British diplomat is interested in knowing how the African country manages to stay on top. You have a higher ranking than the UK on press freedoms here in Namibia. There's a lot for us to learn from you, and there's a lot okay. no. we can learn. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> but I think that so your so your support for democracy and your support for the freedoms around that, I think, are also something that's hugely impressive and has touched on me personally too. In response, President Gengob said people will express themselves because they believe in the ability of the elected government to solve their problems. I said that's a good sign. I agree. If you are quiet, I don't know what you are planning. Mm. But <laughs> so we have a demonstrate, make noise, get angry. Three people will make noise. When they are not free, they don't make noise. Mm. Uh, they will not make noise. Yeah. But when they are free, they trust that it will be justice done in case something goes wrong. Mm. In the past week, Namibia saw a number of spontaneous protests in various towns against gender-based violence, rape and murder that engulfed the nation. Airy was also inspired by the manner in which Namibians are allowed to practice freedom of speech, calling it a symbol of a strong democracy. I think those voices and allowing those voices to shout when they need to shout, right? I think that is the symbol of a, of a strong democracy and that, you know, enabling them to keep expressing how they feel. I mean, obviously, you know, there needs to be rules. I mean, rule of law for your country and mine is key. But nevertheless, within that, all democracies, that freedom of speech, that ability to say how you think and feel, you know, good leaders like yourself absorb those into democracies and it's, it's been hugely impressive. I've, on freedom of, freedom of speech. But the president emphasized the importance of citizens to obey the laws of the country in whatever they do. Francis Shahama, NBC News, State House.